Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaFX tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how to use pie chart in JavaFX. And I have given you uh, this example in which I have shown you how to create a pie chart and how to work with some of the important properties in pie chart. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can deal with uh, events in a pie chart. So for example, you want to, uh, you know, mouse click on some section of this pie chart and you want to perform some events uh, for from clicking a, a mouse or uh, any other event on uh, this section, right? And what we want to achieve here is, for example, we want to uh, display the percentage of this section in a label when I click on this uh, section, right? So let's see how we can uh, do this. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my main.fxml file in the scene builder. And in here, in the last video, I've shown you how to add uh, this uh, pie chart control and the button. Now in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to controls here and I'm going to take a label first of all. And then I'm going to just so resize it and maybe I'm going to change the font size of the, this label also. So first of all, remove the text and then change the font size to, for example, uh, 24. And let's change the color also to red. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give uh, some ID to this label. So I will go to the code and in here I will just say status here and then I will save uh, this uh, FXML file and uh, refresh my project. And now I will go to my main controller.java class in which I have created this method called button to listen to the button action, right? So in here, first of all, I will add this uh, label. So first of all, just write at the rate fxml and then uh, add the label label and our label uh, id is status right so just take the same uh, id from here and give it here and then inside your uh, button uh, method first of all let's import this label from here and then go inside your uh, button uh, method and after this uh, pie chart dot set data and in here we were setting the list which was this observable list right so just after that we are going to add a for loop here and i will write final and then just write uh, pie chart dot data and give the name to your variable name for example data and then because we are setting a list to the pie chart then we can call uh, this list using uh, pie chart dot get data. Okay. And this uh, pie chart dot get data is going to give you the same list we have set to the pie chart, right? And then go inside your uh, for loop and take this uh, data variable and then just add get node and then just uh, call add event handler and in here it takes two arguments one is event type and other is event handler right so event type you can say it can be a mouse event so just write mouse event and then just write dot and then you can uh, choose uh, one of the mouse event listed here it can be mouse clicked, mouse dragged, mouse entered, exited or moved or anything, right? So just for this example, I'm going to take mouse clicked event from here, okay? And the second argument here will be the event handler, okay? So just write, uh, instead of this event handler, just write new event handler, search for uh, this event handler method and it will be somewhere uh, here so search for it here it is so just uh, take this event handler 
and it's going to ask you for uh, the template argument which is event so for us the event is mouse event right and just uh, you know implement this unimplemented method so just click this bulb here and it's going to show add unimplemented method just click it and it's going to implement this uh, handle method here which is uh, mouse click event right which listens for the mouse click so in here just take your uh, label from here and then go to this handle uh, method and then call a set text here and then we can uh, call this uh, data variable here and then it can give us the pi value so just call pi value get pi value here okay but because it's going to give you uh, a number then what you need to do is you need to convert it into the string so just write string dot value of and then inside these brackets just call this data dot get uh, pi value okay and because it's going to give you uh, the value in percentage you can just write here percentage okay save your code and then run it once again and load your chart first of all and then when i click any section here for example this uh, java section it prints the value of uh, this section for example 50 percent okay otherwise when i click this c section it prints the value of uh, this in percentage or c sharp or python or c plus plus okay so it listens for uh, the mouse click event for uh, this uh, section okay so in this way you can add some uh, events and actions on the pie chart i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now